law, language, money, the three paradigms of spontaneously grown institutions. Now, fortunately, law and language have been allowed to develop. Money has originated in original form, but as soon as it was there in its most primitive form, it was frozen. After two or three hundred years of coins, all governments put their hands and stopped any further developments. Government said it must not develop any further. We were not allowed to experiment on it. Money hasn't been improved. Money has rather become worse in the course of time. And what we have had since in development are matters of government inventions, mostly our own, mostly abuses of money. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets. And I have come to the position of asking, has monetary policy ever done any good? I don't think it has. I think it has done only harm. And that's why I am now pleading for what I've called denationalization of money. How do you think that it would uh, work? Would, would the major banks such as uh, Chase Manhattan issue currencies or gold coins issued? Or how would it? Well, the governments can stop people from issuing money. They can hardly stop them from opening accounts and something. After all, in the modern world, hand-to-hand -hand money, mm -hmm. coins and paper is no longer the most important. Uh, credits and credit cards are a substitute. So I think we can forget about existing money and existing banks and we gladly open a system of accounts which will displace money. Ah, that is, that's, a, that's a fascinating concept. Maybe the unit one day will be known as the Hayek. <laughs> I don't believe that we should ever have a good money again before we take the thing out of the hands of government we can't take them violently out of the hands of the government. All we can do is, by some sly roundabout way, <laughs> introduce something so they can't stop. <laughs>